I can't stitch the original creator's video or I would. I wanna go about this a certain way, so I gotta think about it. I'm sure this product actually really helps a lot of people, but there's a little bit of a problem with the logic behind all this. It was stated, are you tired after eating? Do you get nauseous after you're eating? Does your back hurt? Are you inflamed? Are you bloated? Do your bones hurt or pop? See, the problem with all those symptoms is there could be 50,000 different things that are leading to those symptoms and 50,000 different things. Something that's causing your back pain may not be causing you to be nauseous after you're eating. There's no correlation between that. Zero correlation. So do not get me wrong. I am all about something that can help people. And even if it's a placebo effect and helps people, awesome. I'm not saying this is a placebo effect. But just for instance, you know what could cause every single one of these that I wrote down? Eating bad food in general, eating a lot of sugar, drinking pop, eating processed foods. That will lead to nausea after you're eating. That will lead to bloating. That will make you tired because you're crashing your insulin. That'll make you inflamed. That'll make you bloated. That'll make your joints hurt. And then I honestly don't know how mucus makes your bones pop, but it's going to cause issues in your joints. So this is my overall point. Before searching out the easy button fix, the supplement, the, the magic pill, we should try to clean up what is getting put into our bodies on a daily basis. Because that's what she said. She said it causes from bad food and I'm in agreement with her. This can be caused from bad food. And generally, for most people, it is because of the bad food. It's not because of the mucus. It's because of overall inflammation and we're just eating crap. So what I'm saying in my philosophy that I've talked about forever, supplements, tinctures, oils, whatever it is, those are supplement to your diet. Those are supplemental to your diet. So first, clean up your diet. Let's go Whole30, let's go Keto, let's go Mediterranean, let's go Carnivore, something that is not the standard American diet. Then if we have issues, we can search other supplemental things that fit within. But this is the reason why the supplement world gets such a bad rap and tinctures are within that. Is everybody has an easy button fix, but when that easy button fix doesn't work for that person, it's bad. And I'm sure that's not the case in this. This is probably a very quality product. But the fact is people are trying to find an easy button instead of tracking your macros, making sure you're inputting foods that are good for your DNA, for how your body digests food. So instead of looking for an easy button fix, Find a minimalist approach to your supplementation, clean up your diet first, and then, if needed, spend money and go all out on what your body needs. Because as she said, even when we eat healthy, we're still not getting the macro and micronutrients we need to be at our best. I really hope this helps because there are 50,000 million different factors that could be leading to all the symptoms stated.